Good morning. Good morning. It's us, after it's, a long gap. Oh, cracky, my beard looks rather long, doesn't it? I should have trimmed it. Um, right, so we are off on our travels today. We're uh, just walking down to get the bus to the airport to fly to Amsterdam, where we are spending a few days meeting up with our great friends Marlena and uh, Wolfgang who have now got a boat you remember they had a boat in the UK they've now got a boat in Holland yeah so no more Ange de Lowe. hello old Gilly. old Gilly and we're gonna cruise some of the uh, rivers in um, the Netherlands so we are very excited and we will keep you posted how we get on yep wish us all the luck yeah. cheers cheers we are at the airport um, it's been over a year since we did a vlog uh, rub zooming in on me i'm not sure i like that um not really sure i remember what to do but anyway um here we are we're at the airport we're having the obligatory beer and we're having amstel which is a dutch brewery i believe um before we get on the plane and head off to amsterdam and the train up to Steenvik to uh, meet up with Marlene and Wolfgang, and we're really excited. Cheers. These are the moorings where we were first to set eyes upon Old Gilly which would be our home for the next couple of days. In one of his previous vlogs, Wolfgang describes Old Gilly as a classic boat. She is definitely a classic, but her wonderful condition belies the fact that she was built in 1970 from designs of the architect Theo Gillison, hence the name Old Gilly. She has a steel hull, so she's not a yoghurt pot. She is 39 feet long and 12 feet wide and she has a draft of just over three and a half feet. Beneath all this beauty, she has a roaring heart. The engine that we had in the Frog delivered 46 horsepower. The one in Old Gilly delivers 105. And first of all, I have to lower this here, put this down on the right side. Same on the left. Now I use this. We're lowering the, uh, the mast because we're going under a low bridge to leave Steinweg. Well done for not falling in on our first <laughs> trip. Unlike our narrowboats, which could only be operated from the rear, on Old Gilly you've got a choice of where you steer from. Down below, when the weather's inclement, you can keep warm and dry using this wheel. But when the weather's nice, you can see Wolfgang and I sat on what's called the fly deck. Thank you. 
Hello. That's the proof. It didn't it didn't take you long to take over. I didn't. It was it wasn't man. It wasn't. Um, Poor Wolfgang. I, I didn't we, ask him. No, you didn't ask me. You just I, said, I, I I'm going to take the mass. Do this. Um, I was waiting five weeks to have someone. <laughs> At least yeah. you can't fall in from there. That's, that's true. It a is more left, please. Yeah, it is. It is a bit different to. Um, you to will have a try later. Narrow, on. You have a go in a minute. Does, or tomorrow. Does the steering wheel go the same way that you go? It's not like the tiller where you have to correct. do the yeah. opposite. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. It, is, it is more logical in that sense, like a car steering wheel, but the response is very, very slow. So you you tend to overdo it. I tend to. I, I'm talking about me. I tend to overdo it <laughs> because. Um, I'm thinking, oh, it's not turning, it's not turning, it's not turning, and then suddenly it starts turning, and it's uh, and it says, oh, <laughs> you've, got, you've gone too far. <laughs> so, uh, well, that's normal for the first for the first time. He is a natural. <laughs> I was a bit nervous going through that through that bridge just now. Yeah, but, uh, with okay. Wolfgang's guidance, we got through. Well done. Yeah, <laughs> good. Well done. One obvious observation is just how wide the canals are here, and overtaking is quite common. And all narrowboaters amongst you will notice that the speed of tick over appears to be a foreign concept. As we continued, we were approached by a classic Dutch sailing barge. They all have very shallow drafts, making them ideal for the canal network. A very distinctive feature of the classic Dutch barge are the lee boards on the side. They can be dropped into the water when the wind is blowing hard to give greater stability. The Dutch call them swada, or swords in English. This bridge has a traffic light system. Red clearly means don't go. Red and green means the bridge is still in the process of opening, but it's your right of way. In the Netherlands, you can pass underneath, even when the red and green light are still showing. Wolfgang tells me, however, you should never try this in Germany, or the bridge master will shout at you. Giethoorn is described as the most beautiful and fairy tale village in the Netherlands, and every year a million people come to visit. It has no roads, and the people who live in these beautiful ancient thatched houses can only get around on foot, bicycle, or on the waterways of course. We took a boat ride, and it was my opportunity to go back to using a tiller, not very successfully at first. Slightly easier than narrow boating, it has to be said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so, so smooth, right? so that's, that's me. The narrow waterways of the village of Giethoorn open up into a large lake, which we have to cross to join the nature reserve on the other bank. As we enter the nature reserve, we see stacks of reeds laid out to dry on our left-hand side. You can see now why so many of the houses are thatched here. And if you wondered what happened to Matt Hancock after the jungle, here he is steering a boat in the Netherlands.
had a fabulous first day out and after a fantastic meal in a local restaurant, we returned to this beautiful marina to spend the night. So today we have a new captain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> captain S. Captain S. <laughs> Captain P, I think. <laughs> Captain, <laughs> Captain P. Yeah. How's she handling, babe? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. She yaw. Yeah. Oh, it's a... It's a bumblebee. Yeah, bumblebee. Right. Mm -hmm. That's uh, away. I want to go... With left. Bit left. Maybe he will it's overtake. Quite, it's quite different, isn't it? Than it's a bit slower to respond. Rubber. Yeah. 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 It's, you are <laughs> more... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing a good job, babe. I don't want to oversteer. No, that's good. Signing off. I also don't want to run this canoeist over. <laughs> no. When they're on the boat alone, Wolfgang and Marlena can never sit at the bow and just take in the views.
The harbour here is really pretty, and after Wolfgang manoeuvred us into position, a fellow German spotted the flag on our stern and helped us more. We set off on foot to explore this lovely village. As we retrace our steps out of the lock, Wolfgang clearly has a lot of faith in the lock keeper's timing. Next, our travels took us through the beautiful village of Kallenberg, which is built around the Gracht, which I think that's how you say it, which is the Dutch word for ditch. I think I prefer the word Gracht, don't you? Interestingly, Kallenberg means bare hill, but as it's flat around here, I think it's probably more appropriate to be barely a hill. Some of the bridges in the Netherlands require the payment of a toll. And at this one, and a few others I believe, the collection of the two euros and 20 cents is in a rather unique way. Just watch. As we get closer, the bridge keeper opens his window and hangs out what looks like a fishing rod with a string and a clog. All Marlene has got to do is catch it, put the money in and let it go. That's got to be worth an action replay. Here it is from a different angle and slowed down. In the immortal words of Richie Benno, what a marvellous delivery. On the way back, we thought it would be fun to use the other wheel for a while. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye. Ah. <laughs> Jim, lad. Come across the 
I have to say, I much preferred the visibility from the fly deck. Avoid stance so well, you don't fall over. Yes. <laughs> what, what's going to happen? What are you about to do? Tell us. Um, I'm going to pay the bridge toll. Right. Uh, but it's a very unusual way of doing it. The, the guy has like a fishing rod with a wooden clog on it and he swings it out the window, I have to grab it and put the money in and then give it back to him. Right. So uh, this is, and without falling in. Yeah, that's, well that's, that's, that's a the challenge theory. for you. <laughs> and does the boat slow down or stop while you do this? It doesn't stop. I hope Wolfgang's kind and slows down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not. Right, here we go. Ready? It's, like, it's like it's a knockout, this, isn't it? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Don't blow it's it at the last minute. The <laughs> Don't blow it at the last minute. Yeah, there he is. Ready, concentrate. I see the man with his fishing rod. Concentration. Concentrating. Morgan. Morgan. Woo. Done. <laughs> Yay! Whoa! Woo! Brilliant! <laughs> I never thought a clog could be so threatening. <laughs> Fantastic. There we go, we're through. You better sit down now and have a rest oh, well, yeah. after that physical exertion. Okay, Pip, so. Uh, My turn now. <laughs> Pip's turn with the clog. Let's hope I don't do it wrong. Don't pay the clog man. <laughs> oh. probably going to whack me on the head, isn't it? <laughs> there we Try and stay out of the way. Thank you. Well done, brilliant. I didn't fall in. <laughs> so this is our uh, our last afternoon, so the last stretch into however you pronounce it, Steen Steen White. Steen White. Steen White. So Philip is having her last go as captain. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. <laughs> <laughs> and so our few days with our great friends. Wolfgang and Marlena on the waterways of this amazingly beautiful country come to an end. Thank you, Wolfgang and Marlena. We had a fabulous time. See you soon. To see more of Wolfgang and Marlena, here are two YouTube channels you might want to try.